welcome back and we can now look back at the highlights from our first Sport Max production cup race of the weekend. Again, very, very wet conditions. And when the lights went out, it was Adrian Churchill that started to try and pull out a subtle lead over the rest of the field as they all filed their way into the very, very wet S's for the first time. Adrian Churchill already a three times winner this season, claiming all three victories at Rockingham. Opened up a sizable gap in the early stages as Alex Ashby was there in second and Stuart Clark threw away third position with a spin coming out of Coram. He was all over the grass and rejoined the circuit, still in third position ultimately, but only just ahead of the local man Ryan Bensley in his Dunlop Race Academy Vauxhall Astra. There was a good battle also going on between Jordan Witt in the BMW 120 diesel and Andre McGee, the Russian driver in the Mini, as they fought their way through Coram. McGee threw the car off the road, travelled a long way on the grass before eventually making contact with the barriers and that spelt retirement for him. The fight between the two Thorny Motorsport Astra VXRs went on, still with Alex Ashby and Stuart Clark fighting for position. Stuart Clark eventually making it through and up into second place ahead of the man who was celebrating his 21st birthday that day, Alex Ashby, who slipped to third. Number 11, Tim Saunders, and the BMW 120 diesel of Jordan Witt still continue to fight tooth and nail for positions further down through the field as our race leader, Adrian Churchill, then got embroiled in some back marker lappery, putting a lap on the Nissan 370Z in the hands of Stephen Doby. Stuart Clark continued to pull away in second position from Alex Ashby, who still sat there in third, but was beginning to come under a little bit of attention from Ryan Bensley, who remained in fourth position in the fourth of the Astra VXRs we have in the field. And as they headed through for completion of another lap, we could then see that Stephen Doby's Nissan 370Z again was about to be caught by Stuart Clark, who still remained in second position. Nice to see Stuart Clark back in the championship this year. We saw sporadic outings from him in 2009. The budget ran out, unfortunately, so he's hopeful of coming back and doing the vast majority of the 2010 Sport Max Cup championship season. So whilst Adrian Churchill, the former Super Coupe Cup racer, still continue to increase his advantage between the pack behind, if anything, Stuart Clark, Alex Ashby and Ryan Bensley were starting to get a little bit closer for second, third and fourth places. Tricky conditions still slowing the pace, however, of the vast majority of cars, but all of the drivers still treading very, very carefully and managing to keep albeit the vast majority of the time, their cars on the very wet tarmac. Stuart Clark accelerated over the start-finish line, still in his second position, being chased all of the time by the man celebrating his birthday that day, Alex Ashby. And you can see just how damp and miserable the conditions were. Dan Malone, who we saw completing in Class C in a Peugeot 106 last year, he was still paddling his Seat Leon through the puddles to what at the time was fifth position as race leader Adrian Churchill on his final lap was surely looking for what would for him be his fourth victory of the season. Three straight victories in the first three races at Rockingham, round four of the championship here at Snetterton, and Adrian Churchill looked as though he was destined for a lights to flag victory as he came in towards the braking area for Russell for the final time and accelerated down the centre straight in the Courtney Sport Astra VXR. All the Astras clearly liking the very wet conditions here at Snetterton. So Adrian Churchill claims his fourth victory of the season from Stuart Clark in second place. Birthday boy Alex Ashby was there in third with Ryan Bensley, Dan Malone and Mick Weedner completing the top six.